Okay. So we're gonna start this from the beginning. the bus was we took out the stop sign yeah. and how we did that was unscrewing it from the side of the bus and clipping the wires behind because we saw videos where people did that so we figured it'd be fine fast forward to a little over a week later we tried to start the bus it wouldn't start so it seems like the batteries did so we gotta figure out what's draining it but for now we're gonna unhook it and then go through the rest of the bus and start tracing out stuff that we want to get rid of and maybe find some things that might be draining it. So, I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like right now um, with stop sign being taken out because it helps to, you can avoid the mistake that we made. Um, definitely just do some more research on it. I'm not 100% positive it just, if it just depends on the bus or um, the year or what, but I know that ours, we're pretty sure that that's the cause of it. <laughs> um, and we've also read that other people have had the same problem. So pretty much what we did was we just took some wire cutters. <clears throat> Show you. And just snipped them like that and covered them up. Yeah, so we don't know if it was something to do with that or something else that was draining uh, the batteries because of that. So we had no idea. And. Yeah. So then we decided, okay, well, we want to figure out the wiring anyway, because if we're on the road somewhere, we want to be able to fix it. We want to be able to fix as much stuff as possible. Right. Also, there are several things on a school bus that are illegal to have if it's not a school bus. So like the top, back, brake lights are not allowed, at least in Missouri. So we were like, okay, well, let's, the walls were taken down. We can see the wiring. Let's start tracing stuff back. So since these lights up here we're not going to use, um, I think we're going to leave the bulbs in and everything and just paint them from the outside. Um, so we're just going to start by disconnecting the wiring here and start tracing it back and pulling all the wiring out that we don't need. So hopefully we can then make sense of, of what's left and know what's what. Right. So we're going to do that now and hopefully we don't mess anything up too bad. We have, we pulled those wires from back there, from the, the clip earlier, if you remember that. <laughs> and so we pulled them all the way, and these are them dangling up here, but then it like gets in here, and it's just nuts. So, since we only have that little view A, we're gonna take off this panel at least, yeah. and hopefully that will open up to where we can see it more. Any comments? Let's do it. Let's do this dine dine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, he's still pulling more. Okay. You just see the strong man in action. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Open up so nicely, and we can see all the wiring now, and that is gonna be so much more of a help. Awesome. Good job, James. Give me that thumbs up again, I didn't get it. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's, the walls were taken down, we can see the wiring, let's start tracing stuff back. So the first things that we did were these, unscrewed them from the outside, went ahead and took the light bulbs out, pulled the wires, and then as you can see along this, there are goes back to here Whoop. and so we discovered what we thought that the majority of the things that we didn't want were going to here and at first we thought this was all connected 
and we were wrong. <laughs> Um, what we found out pretty much was that, um, so the, we initially thought that these two wires here ran back to the main battery. Uh, and they do. Right. And we, but we thought that was the only way that this whole thing was getting power. But we found out later there was another wire that was running to our second battery which we didn't know at first was even there. Right, and then even after we figured out that there was a second battery, we thought that it was just powering the wheelchair lift, we were wrong. If you know nothing about diesels, like us, you probably have two batteries in your bus. It's to get it started, at least I think that's the majority yeah. of it. And so the panel, the wire, this was being controlled by the battery underneath. So, in order to de deactivate this entire panel, we just went down to the battery, and we'll show you that in a second, took off the cord, and then just screwed it back in. So, that cut the power, then we were able to trace all the wires that we didn't want, pull them, um, and make sure everything that we did want, the heater, the air conditioning, right. were all powered. Right, and that's what these were actually powering off of the, the main battery. Right. So this is what our bus looks like. We have a 98 Ford E350 short bus. Yep. So obviously it depends on your bus. Some people have outside panels. So really it's just about trying to trace it and then writing it down. And for us, some of it was just starting to pull stuff and then trying to start the bus, seeing how that would work. Right. Um, but it was quite a battle um, because of the battery drain to get them recharged because they were at like zero. Yeah, we had really the trickle charge them for quite a while and then we had problems with the trickle charger. Um, right. So then we got a new one that seems to work pretty well. Yeah. That we'll probably just start leaving hooked up all the time while we're working on it. And, and I'll put a link to the trickle charger in the description. So what we initially thought was powering everything for the emergency lights and the air conditioning and the uh, heater fan was these two wires running into here and then running to our main battery. And then... So that, those are the things we unplugged at first, and we thought it was working, but it wasn't the right thing. So, but there are portions, um, this is where, next to the door, this is where our second battery is. I don't know where yours is, but... And right now, uh, we've got it taken down off of the, because this, it just sits in this tray. Um, but then we had this wire here that was that this is what was powering all of the emergency lights and things like that So we just disconnected that from the battery hooked the battery back up and it pretty much got rid of everything that we wanted to get rid of There were some adjustments we had to make So I think the main thing that we would say is just to make sure that whenever you're identifying the cords um, You're writing down everything and then because that's very helpful and then also so like we said, we unplugged this one from the battery, this box, but some of the things we wanted were still running to this box. So before we started unplugging anything, we took lots of pictures so that we could figure it out ourselves. We weren't just like plugging in random stuff because I'm sure there's some sort of balance to them that you have to have. Yeah. So just take lots of pictures, document everything you're doing in case you have to go back because we definitely made some mistakes, yeah. and I'm glad that we took all those pictures. Yeah, because <laughs> so. we did have to hook a lot of things back up. Um, a lot of things that we probably needed to unhook anyways just to, to clear up, but it helped us understand. And yeah, these, these codes that are on the wires. They have little so numbers like, and... So A105 for this one, which we actually sent an email to Bluebird asking um, if they had a wiring diagram for our bus and gave them the VIN number from our, for our bus. Uh, they did write us back and they sent us a wiring diagram that was, they said was a little different, but it may help us. It, they were like, wow, that's a really old bus. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know if we have that, but here's something similar. Right, so it may be worth a try uh, to you know check out Bluebird or whoever, Thomas, or whoever else is the manufacturer of your, your bus. Um, they may have wiring diagrams that may help a lot with this process. It helped us a little bit, yeah. not a ton, yeah. but it, it helped a little. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, so that's our wiring video. Please comment with any questions because it's a very confusing process and we're here to help all we can. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks.